In this video, I'll show how to weather a center beam flat car with a mixture of oil paints and pan pastels. It's a bit difficult to get behind the ladders and brake wheel on the car ends. Thankfully, the end detail can simply be pulled off of this microtrans model. I start with a thin wash of titanium white oil paint heavily diluted with turpentine oil. This first layer dies down the vibrant color and gives it a slightly worn look right away. After I'm done applying the wash to the end details, I move on to the main body. I apply the wash mostly with vertical brush strokes, so any streaks that might develop are in line with rain flowing off the car. When I have a good amount of the wash on the car, I clean the brush and dry it on a clean paper kitchen towel, so the brush can soak up the excess wash from the model. I pay close attention to the top of the center beam, to make sure that the paint does not form pools there. I also need to keep an eye on the surfaces around the opera windows, so no unnaturally looking patterns develop there. The wash likes to pull up underneath the center beam, and then creep out onto the details on the deck, so I make sure to soak up all the excess wash there as well. After letting this layer dry for a couple of hours before sealing it with matte varnish, I start with a dirt wash of warm grey and burnt umbra. I start with the end again, trying to apply a slightly stronger mix in the areas behind the ladders to simulate the more intense dirt accumulation in those areas. After also applying the wash to the end details, I start weathering the main body. Just like the fading wash, I start with applying a good amount of the wash to the model and then picking up most of it with a clean brush. With this layer, pulling off the wash is less of a problem. I still need to make sure that there are no weird patterns developing around the opera window. I let this layer dry for a couple of hours before sealing it. The next step is a mix of neutral grey and burnt umbra extra dark for additional dirt effects. After popping the end details back onto the model, I brush the pastel powder over the end details as well before I apply mostly burnt umbra extra dark to the top of the bulkheads in order to blend the slightly different weathering effects there. I apply the pastel a little bit on the strong side, as the colors tend to become much more dull after being sealed. After that, I rub a good amount of the mix of grey and burnt umbra into the top of the center beam and then blow off the excess powder. The sides of the underframe and the bulkheads receive the same treatment. When I'm done there, I also apply a good amount of the pastels to the inside of the bulkheads and the ends of the center beams as well as the deck. This leads to quite a difference between the flat car deck and most of the center beam. I use a soft brush to gently brush the pestles from the deck upwards onto the center beam sidewalls. This creates a dirt effect that is stronger toward the bottom of the center beam. It's important to not press down with the brush while doing this. When I like the effect, I blow off the excess powder and seal this layer with varnish. Now it's time to create a couple of rust effects. For this, I switch back to oil paints. I dab the end of a brush with stiff bristles into some burnt umbra first and then dab the brush on my mixing palette to make sure that there isn't too much paint on the brush. Then I create little rust spots on the bulkheads with the very ends of the bristles. Don't push too hard while doing this, so the bristles don't start to bend. This would result in brush patterns instead of many little spots. Next, I create rust marks on the flat car deck. I use the side of the brush for this, trying to only apply the paint to the risers on the deck. When I'm happy with the results, I use the same technique on the sides of the center beam, sometimes adding rust spots there as well with the ends of the bristles. Finally, I also need to weather the trucks and wheel faces. I use a slightly diluted mix of warm grey and burnt umbra. 
I tend to use a little more warm grey in the mix when working on the truck frames and a little more burnt umbra when painting the wheel faces. I have used the oil paints either full strength or only slightly diluted in this step, so I wait a couple of days to make sure that the paint is fully dry before applying the final layer of varnish. Here's a shot of the finished project on the layout. So this is how I go about weathering my center beam flat cars. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.